Let's talk about upward rotation and downward rotation of the shoulders. This gets fun because we're also talking about external rotation and internal rotation. Rotation is used primarily when we're hoisting things up. Think of shoulder presses. We got our dumbbells and we're pushing up. This is upward rotation. And when we're doing this movement, we're naturally externally rotating our shoulders. Remember that ball and socket that naturally has to rotate, externally rotate as we lift up. Now, if we weren't holding a weight, think of your thumbs turning backwards, okay? Versus internal rotation, they'd be turning inwards. We get more of an internal rotation when we have downward rotation, when we're returning to the anatomical position. A great stretch for upward rotation is putting your elbows against the wall and moving them up. And you really feel, get as high as you can with your fists and hold. And remember, stabilize your core, keep your back straight and hold that. You'll really feel a great stretch. Turn it into more of an exercise to build strength. You can grab onto a couple weights while you're doing this. Downward rotation, when you want to stretch that, this is tricky because the downward rotation is when you're coming back down from pushing something up. So a good stretch for this one is you put your arm behind your back so your palm faces away from your back. It's kind of resting on the top part of your glutes. And then you take your scapula and internally rotate it and as you're pushing it down. And that is downward rotation. A good way to feel the sensation of internal rotation versus external rotation is put your arms at 90 degrees. Put your thumbs up. And to externally rotate, bring your thumbs back and rotate them down so they're pointing behind you. And to internally rotate, bring them forward and down. It's very important when you're doing all these shoulder exercises, maybe especially when you're doing shoulder presses, to remember to pack your shoulders, keep them back retracted and down because you don't want to hold your shoulder in a poor position, hunched forward when you're doing it or too far back in an arch back, you don't want to do that. Keep your core solid. Remember, when you're doing standing presses, keep your feet on the ground and distribute your weight throughout the entire bottom of your foot. You want to think of yourself as planted in the ground, like you're an immovable force. Tight core, straight back, slightly arched, and then begin the movement. One by one, with each of the shoulder movements we're working on, elevation, depression, protraction, retraction, upward rotation, downward rotation, external rotation, internal rotation. We're aware of our posture, of how we should be using our shoulders in everyday life. It's empowering. Next, we're going to talk about the rotator cuff muscles, are hugely important in correct shoulder activation and they prevent injuries. They provide stability for your shoulder. They allow you for full range of motion and they keep that ball at the end of your humerus bone from falling out of your socket, your glenoid, which is in your scapula. So stay tuned for that one. Remember, I love you.